it's easy to get caught up in all of the noise and chaos that surrounds us every day. We forget to stop and appreciate the beautiful little things that are consumed by the noise. Like all the small spring flowers that pop up everywhere. It's important to take a moment and enjoy them fully. They are so colorful. But usually when there is something new, something old needs to go. The endless cycle. Nature is awake and there is work to be done in the countryside. So let's get to it. Today I plan to continue pruning, this time here in our yard. And I would like to prune our roses. They are so huge and it's a total mess. Yeah. You can see these support constructions falling and like it doesn't look good. Of course, it's hard to access. So somehow... <laughs> Careful about the flowers. Yeah, yeah, I see them. I don't know, should I be aggressive with the pruning? I think you can be because it's roses. Yeah. They grow fast and... They grow aggressively, so you have to cut them aggressively. Yes. Like this, for example? The whole thing gone. Uh, yeah, it depends how many flowers you want. I don't know. Like, they will grow fast. So. Yeah. We just don't want it to be too tall, I guess. That's the main thing. Or it shouldn't go inside the yard, you know, so that we could walk around. Yeah, I know. But I mean, maybe... We should like get rid of this whole big stem, uh -huh. so it doesn't grow in this direction. Uh -huh, uh -huh. For example, this whole thing and this whole thing. The wood is very soft. Uh -huh. It's interesting, it goes very easy when I compare it to other trees. So we can't make furniture out of roses? No. <laughs> No, I wouldn't recommend. Okay. Okay. We have to change our way of thinking. Because at the beginning, a few years ago, when we bought it, we were afraid to do anything. And this for us is like a big step to remove <laughs> bigger branches. But we are getting less afraid, right honey? Yeah, I'm always afraid of removing greenery. Like uh -huh. you're not supposed to do that, but yeah. then we wouldn't be able to live here anymore. It would be like from the fairy tale, where the roses grow over the whole castle and everything. Yeah. I tried to cut off those branches from the support. Uh -huh. So maybe I'll be able to... Wow. <laughs> Almost there. Are you going to throw it at me? No, I don't want to destroy it. Ah, oh, yeah. Would be satisfying <laughs> to throw it. At me? No, just at no one. Wow. I think I'm done. So, these two are small. This one remained tall, but I cleaned it up nicely. There was a big mass here everywhere and quite a lot of them were dry and dead already. So yeah, once Tommy cleans up this garden bed, yeah. <laughs> uh, it will be great, I think. And I'm looking forward to roses, to flowers. Let's hope there will be some flowers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully the rose is not in shock, but I think it will be totally okay and amazing. Totally. I cut off quite a lot. Look at this. So wow. <laughs> I think this will be Tommy's job to get it out of here and do something with it. I will burn it later and we have to be careful because 
there can't be any thorns in oh, the yeah. wall because that would be not great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have to be careful with this. And by we, you mean I? Yes. Look at it, it's going very nicely. like Peter thinks it's summer already. Yes, it's finally warmer. Not by much, but <laughs> look, I wanted to have summer feelings, but there is a problem. My favorite lounger is totally over. Tommy broke it. <laughs> of course I like did. <laughs> this, look, no honey. <laughs> you can look. sleep on it now. Uh, it's not totally terrible. But how come it doesn't fall back? Tommy described it like you can't lie here, but I can. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh sure god. you can. Enjoy. <laughs> so this is over. Looks amazing. Tommy didn't waste any time in the meantime, and he ordered two new loungers from the internet. He loves ordering things from the internet now, like we are rich or something. <laughs> I don't know. So, let's open this and take a look how amazing these loungers are. Or not. Or not. They were cheap. <laughs> okay. I have to be here in the sun because there in the shade it's very cold. Yes. <laughs> Okay guys, so here we are. It's not the best, because it's short. And looks like we aren't rich after all. <laughs> because these are not very high quality loungers. What I liked about this one is this pillow. Because that was very comfortable uh -huh. for my neck. But here there is nothing. So, I need to bring my own pillow yeah. from somewhere. I wanted a lounger like that one, but there wasn't anything like that on the internet. So, that's quite sad. Yeah. Only these shitty ones. <laughs> I have this memory foam pillow. So, that would make my life better. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Now it's totally better. Great. But my feet are still in the air. Uh huh. Yeah. It's really short. But it's not uncomfortable. But they weird. They make it it's like for kids or something. But it wasn't sold for kids. Maybe it's meant like that. When you wear shoes, uh -huh. then you won't make the lounger dirty. I yeah. Don't know. Maybe that's better. We'll see. We have to get used to it. We just need to get used to the fact that it's different. Yeah. This is quite comfortable. Okay. With the pillow. Good. I don't hate it. <laughs> Honey, first tanning session of the year. I was looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. I was counting down the days when it will be warm enough to lie down in the sun. Yeah. And it's finally here. It is. Last autumn I planted a lot of new bulbs, mostly around our trees and mostly daffodils because voles don't like them. And here are some of them. This is our first daffodil of the season and many more are coming. So that's exciting. And I bought a few more. I wanted to plant them now to give them a chance to still grow this season. So this is Allium Neapolitanum. It has a lot of common names, so I don't know if you call it uh, flowering onion or daffodil garlic. Here we call it decorative garlic. So I have nine bulbs, which I want to plant around this pear tree, which we recently pruned. And both don't like these either. 
so we shouldn't be afraid of them eating the bulbs, which is a good thing, because we have a lot of bowls still. We recently watered all the trees because it was dry, so now it's not too hard to dig here because the soil is not dry anymore after we watered it. So that's easier than last time. I remember it was quite difficult to make the holes. The sun is fighting to get out of the clouds today. Oh, the bulbs are quite small, so I didn't have to make such big holes probably. And of course we need to water them properly if we want to see some flowers this year. We don't have any decorative garlic on our property yet. These are our first bulbs, so I'm curious to see what it will look like. Hopefully we'll see in a couple of months. We have toppy numbers here. And I don't know if you guys remember, you can eat them in higher amount because you will be very full of gas. <laughs> yeah, we remember very well what happens yeah. to us. But this is quite late in the year, so I don't know if they are already done, like rotten, <laughs> or I don't know what. We would like to transplant them somewhere else, but today for dinner we have potatoes. So I was thinking that we could add a few of these toppy numbers to our meal. Mm -hmm. We'll see. If they are not edible, they should still be growable. <laughs> Because typically if you don't harvest them, there are new ones growing out of there. Yes, yes. And they are very pretty when they grow. They have uh, yellow flowers, similar to sunflowers, but smaller. And many of them, yeah. not just one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see anything. <laughs> no, they are here, look, honey. Oh. Ooh. They still look fresh, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very fresh. I like that. So, I don't know, maybe three? And there are more? I don't see any, but if I would uh -huh. dig more, there would be. Okay. So maybe we'll keep them here for now uh -huh. and then transplant them because we don't know where yet. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay so Looks like nothing happened. Yeah, so I think this should be like a safe amount yes. to eat and yeah, we'll make our dinner more interesting. I decided to clean up this flower garden bed and remove all the old plants that died over the winter to make space for the new ones. For example, there are these small tulips growing there already, so then we'll be able to enjoy them better without the old plants. They're so cute, so small. Uh -huh. This is mostly mint. We made a lot of tea from them last year, but there's so much of it that I think we didn't use most of it. No, it's just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> it grows here very violently. And there are also some old flowers here. So we need to make space for new ones. Just five minutes later, look at this hunk. He was telling me that it's cold, but I was like, no, no, no. You'll see it's really warm and it's here. It's really nice today. Yeah. I stayed uh, closed on the video because I want to avoid thirst content, as we said, but Peter decided to film it anyway. This is not thirst content, this is real life. So, yeah. <laughs> And I like the view. I am a thirsty viewer. <laughs> What do you think, guys? It looks much better now. I can see the tulips clearly now. Yeah. And look how many of everything we have. Now the difficult task <laughs> is to drive this <laughs> into the garden. Good luck with that. Yeah, I will need it. 
<laughs> this is again me. I was like, no, we will drive just one time. That will be totally okay. We don't have to go more times. Because I suggested to Peter that we should go in the middle. Yeah, but I was lazy. So now, <laughs> this is fun. It's still on the wheelbarrow. Wow. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> and we are almost at our final destination. Oh right, we're only going here. Yes. I'm also cutting this oregano with a sickle. <laughs> I have to be careful because first time I used this sickle, two years ago, I immediately cut my leg. So that wasn't fun. I remember. <laughs> yeah. And it smells really nice. <laughs> like oregano you would have in your kitchen. We can smell it all the way here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I started to like the lounger. So it was a good choice, honey. With the pillow, it's great. So I'm gaining my strength and soon we will burn everything down. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. I can't wait. Guys, all this is ready. <laughs> I'm quite scared, but we were already burning some dry things a few days ago and we are still here. Yeah. So hopefully this will be a success. We just need to make sure that we don't put it there all at once. Yeah, and let's go. Okay. Wow, it's done. <laughs> it's windy a bit, so of course it's not going. Better. It's going at me. And we have to be careful with adding more stuff. Because it's so dry. Yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. I feel the heat all the way here. Yeah. Maybe go slower. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, as a good meteorologist, I knew the wind is blowing into that direction. That's why everything is here. Wow. Yeah. You're so smart sometimes. I am. Not just sometimes. A few minutes later, everything is almost gone, including part of our lawn border. Ew. So the fire was too hot and too big. And I was afraid the hair on my legs <laughs> are going to be gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they are still there. Wow, but it's so hot here. Yeah. So this was quite fun. <laughs> I like doing things like these. Because it's fun and it's ah. so useful, you know. So this is two birds with one stone. <laughs> I have fun and we got rid of all these dry weeds. Do you agree, honey? Of course I do. I never disagree with you. I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> uh. oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> wow. But I like how carefully calculated this was. With the pile here, the wind blowing there, and we are doing this on the garden beds where there is no dry grass, like mm -hmm. in the immediate surroundings. So yeah, this was amazing. Just the lawn border 
Yeah. It's gone, but it's just a very small part. It's not very important. Okay. I have spoken. <laughs> I would say job well done. There were more adventures happening during this stay at the country house, but that's another story for another time. Give us a like and we'll see what awaits us. So until then, bye!